Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I am Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with a reading on what is going on in your situation. What is happening? What do you need to be aware of? Um, what is panning out with other people, with yourself, in your dilemma? Before I get started, I ask if you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, hit that like button, and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. Otherwise, let's get started. The first card I pulled is dreams coming true. So if you have been dreaming about a love situation, you've been dreaming about a career, you've been dreaming about maybe a right, you know, rights being made, uh, excuse me, wrongs being made right, if I could talk, that is definitely coming true. I feel that a lot of you have been really working hard on yourselves, really going through a transformation that is bringing all your wishes towards you helping them become true. Um, maybe you are seeking justice in your case. Maybe you are just seeking to start a new life. Whatever your situation is, just know that your dreams are coming true. We have no. So if you have had a question and you have been wondering what the answer was, at this moment is no. Maybe it's has a truth came out. Um, is this person in love with me? Am I going to receive this job? Am I going down the right path? Whatever your question is, at this time it is no. But that doesn't mean that this no isn't going to be switched to a yes. And I feel like it's going to definitely come um, unexpectedly. And it is going to come very fastly. We have the Ace of Wands. Now we all know that the Wands represents um, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the Ace of Wands stands for new venture or way of life, pregnancy or birth. So maybe some of you are pregnant or about to give birth. If you are, congratulations. That's such a beautiful thing. Or maybe you are just seeking out a new venture in your life. It is going to definitely uh, be rewarded with your rewards that you are receiving from all the hard work that you have put into a situation towards yourself, your transformation, whatever the circumstances are in your life, but you are being granted a new venture. Maybe it's a new venture in career. Maybe it's a new adventure in just the way that you perceive life, where you live, whom you spend it with. Whatever it is, you are being granted it. Um, it could include an Aries Leo Sagittarius. doesn't have to be. You could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but you don't have to be. We have the moon card, and we all know that the moon represents betrayal, secrets, lies, um, illusions, uh, anything that's being kept in the dark, being hidden from the moon, you know, behind the moon. It also represents a cancer, so you could be a cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. I see it as cancer only. Um, I think that there's been a lot of lies and secrets and betrayal that you have been facing in your situation or on your journey. Those, I feel, even though that card is not in reverse, I think that there still is a lot hidden from you that you're not seeing or you don't know about. But I feel that those secrets are being revealed one by one. And it eventually is going to be in the reversed uh, way. It will be turned into the reverse instead of being upright. I think that there's a lot to your situation that you still have not uh, gained the knowledge about. But I believe each and every day it slowly is trickling out until that card is made in reverse. Success. So whatever venture you're on, whatever, you know, whatever straight, I can't talk, um, frame of mind you're in, whatever situation you're in, you are going to end up very successful. If you're moving towards a new love relationship, that love relationship is going to, going to be very successful. If it is, you know, discovering the, the hidden lies, deception, anything like that, you're going to be very successful in that. You just have to have faith in the higher power. Just know that the higher power is working with you to, you know, help you regain your life, help you regain the truth of what has been going on, what has been being hidden. If there was an injustice, just know that justice is, that injustice is being made into a justice. If you're on the other end where you've been lying, deceiving, stealing, doing anything illegal, just know that you are being uh, brought forth to tell the truth, to be shown to the world exactly what you are and to make those wrongs right. We have the three of wands, motivation. So you definitely have found your motivation again 
in maybe just seeking the truth, maybe in life in general. But you are definitely in this motivation state. You are in this uh, Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, that fire signs are very uh, provident in this reading. Maybe you are dealing with that person or people that represent the, the wands. We have the Four of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the Four of Cups represents boredom and discontent. With that being said, I think that you have been kind of in a boredom and discontent situ situation or in that frame of mind. Maybe you have been waiting for uh, things to come to light. Maybe you have been waiting for a new career opportunity, a new love situation. But you are at this time in this boredom and discontent. I don't feel like it's going to last. I think that like right you know, before your eyes in the next day or so, the light is going to be shed. Maybe you are going to shed that light of things that need to be seen that have been being hidden behind the moon and in the dark. We have faith. I have faith that I can manifest the, the wealth and prosperity that I desire. So the universe is asking you to continue to have that faith, to know that you are able to manifest anything and everything you want as long as you are having faith in the higher power, having faith in your situation, and having faith in yourself. You've been facing a lot of obstacles and challenges. I feel that this has been going on for many years. If you are like me, you're probably pretty exhausted, but you're not so exhausted that you have given up yet. I don't feel that anyone that watches my channel would give up. Um, I'm a pretty strong, you know, willful person. It takes a lot for me to really crumble and for me to ever give up on anything, especially if there's been an injustice, if there's been lies being hidden or anything like that. It just makes me more powerful and stronger, and I believe that each and every one of you are like that also. Detach. So you're definitely this bird right here, and you're detaching from things and people that no longer serve your highest good. You are releasing anything that has been holding you back, any things, you know, thought processes, any fear, anything that has been restricting you from moving on in your life. You are setting it free. You're releasing it to the universe for the universe to do with, with it whatever it sees fit. And that's beautiful because at times we're afraid to detach from things that we have been bound to for so long. We have the yes card. So if you have another question... And you are wondering what the answer is. It is yes. I feel that this yes card is in love. If you are desiring somebody in love and you are wondering if they feel the same way about you, the answer is yes. We have the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It is sense of anxiety and despair, feelings of oppression. So you are definitely feeling some oppression right now. You're being oppressed from something in your life that is holding you back. I think that you're trying to break free of this oppression. You might be feeling a lot of anxiety and despair at this time. And if you are, you need to go within. You need to meditate. You need to, you know, connect to the divine. Ask the divine to please free you from this anxiety and despair. And really know that you can definitely overcome anything and everything that comes towards you. Every obstacle and challenge that is brought your way, you just know that even though it seems impossible to to hurdle that, that obstacle or challenge that you're going to glide right over it. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This is represents Earth signs, so it's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And the Queen of Pentacles is a woman of worth, so you might be this woman that is capable and practical, so you're standing in your worth. You know that you're able to... to um, achieve anything you desire. You you know that you can have this success. You are not going to settle for anything less. Maybe you have people that are around you that are trying to drag you down. Maybe they're trying, you know, struggling in their life and really looking towards you to help them, but you're you're really moving away from that. You're moving towards positivity. You're standing your ground. You know your worth and you're not going to settle for anyone or anything less than what you deserve. We have control. You're releasing your control of having to know what um, the outcome is going to be of this situation. Maybe somebody is releasing their control of you. Maybe they have finally wised up and have been controlling you for a long time and they have decided that it's time to release that. Maybe they have seen you struggle. Maybe they have caused this struggle 
and I feel that the universe has really stepped in and really have has connected to people that have been trying to control other people or situations and have really brought the love and light into their life. Nine of Swords, anxiety. So there definitely is a lot of anxiety in your situation. You're at a nine. You're almost to a ten. Once we reach the ten of Swords, know that that's the ending. You cannot go any further. Once you receive that Ten of Swords, you are now able to start a new cycle and to release all of these swords and put them down. And you're going to be able to release the anxiety of whatever um, you are anxious about, whatever is causing this anxiety in your life and towards anything that you're trying to accomplish in your life. We have the Star, a sign of Aquarius. The Star is the Wish card. You had made a wish. You have worked hard. You have really conquered your fears you have maybe detached for uh, from unhealthy people and things you have maybe moved away from people that were just trying to control you maybe narcissists you have really went through a transformation that has made you a stronger better more beautiful unconditionally loving person and now the universe is going to grant you your wishes Worthiness. I feel worthy and have very special talents that will keep that will help me to achieve my gene dreams. I cannot talk. I apologize. I don't know if it's my throat chakra or if it's one of your throat chakras, but I'm having trouble speaking. So please, please, please forgive me. I feel worthy and have very special talents that will help me to achieve my dreams. So that you are feeling very worthy, worthy of the gifts, the talents that you have that you provide out into the world. Maybe you have really uh, gained a lot of knowledge somewhere and you're sharing that with other people. Maybe you are a psychic, a tarot reader, and you are teaching other people on how tarot works, uh, what it re represents. Maybe people really looked at you like you were an evil person, what you did, your tarot readings, or the way that you look at the higher power or anything that you do in your life as not worthy. And because you stood your ground, you knew your own self-worth. Other people are really seeing your worthiness. Conflict and defeat. So you have definitely been in a stage where you have felt very conflicted. Conflicted on the decisions that you're making. Conflicted on the people around you. Conflicted on which step to you know take next. Which path to take. Am I going in the right direction? And you have definitely felt defeated. Defeated by whatever your circumstances are defeated by love defeated by you know maybe some decisions that you have made maybe decisions that other people have made and even though this card did not come out in reverse I feel that you are moving past this that you have really gained your strength you are really gaining knowledge about what your circumstances are and you're really moving poor past poor past that con conflict I can't talk oh my lord Holy cow, sorry, moving past that conflicted stage and really pushing that, you know, that feeling of being defeated away and you are stepping into your worthiness. We have rebuild. So you're definitely healing. You're definitely trying to rebuild your heart, trying to, to heal yourself from maybe a broken heart. Maybe people have really done you wrong. Maybe there's been a certain person that really, you know, took advantage of you and just didn't see your worthiness. Um, maybe they have stabbed you in the back to gain something from you or a situation. But you have been in that healing stage and you are in the current um, stage of rebuilding this heart and you're building it to an unconditionally loving stage, but also to the point where you no longer will allow anybody to come in and, and knock it down, to break it, to to hurt you in any way that you do not deserve or really not even that because none of us deserve to have a broken heart but you have done the healing and you have really uh, manifested and you have really um, strived to to rebuild your heart so you are more of a unconditionally loving person and you're almost to the point where you can almost withstand anything that everybody you know people other people bring towards you we have peaceful resolution so if you're in a situation that you're wondering how it's going to be resolved it is going to end very peacefully if it is, you know, in a court of law, if it's in a family situation, in a romance situation, there is going to be a peaceful resolution to it. 
We have the Six of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is harmony after strain, long journey over water. So maybe you have been traveling. Maybe you have had this long journey over water. Maybe you have came from Texas and you're now in Utah, um, whatever it is. But you are definitely having are going to have harmony after a strain, after maybe some betrayal, a heartbreak, things that you have really needed to heal regarding yourself. Because you uh, learned self-love and self-worth, you're now being granted your wishes. And you have now uh, stepped into receiving that harmony that is going to allow you to really rest and recover and really start to build a very successful, very unconditionally loving life towards yourself and maybe with your family or maybe just, you know, towards you and a romantic partner. But there is harmony coming straight for you. We have the rebel. To me, this represents you. You have been the rebel. You have really stood your ground. You have gone against what people, society stems to say normal. You have fought maybe injustices. And while you have been in this rebel stage, if you can see the change, you have broke yourself free. You no longer are bound to what society says is right. You're no longer bound to the devil, to darkness, to anything that was holding you down, keeping you restrained. You rebelled against what other people were trying to say was right because maybe you are a unique, uh, kind, different type of person. Maybe you think a lot differently. Maybe you have other ways of, of living your life that maybe other people do not understand or did not respect. Maybe people were really, you know, coming down on you and maybe you have been really singled out and you have been fighting a battle all by yourself. But because you remained in that re rebel type situ you know s status you have not let anybody knock you off of your journey and what you knew to be right it has actually freed you from all of the things that society um our families uh, maybe traditions just the way you know people stem to say that is right or wrong it instead of you being bound to it and stuck there you have broke free you have broken the chains and you are now allowed to really go down a journey that is really going to make you very happy, make you very successful, and bring those wishes that you desire in. Page of Pentacles, Opportunities. Pentacles are earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You are definitely going to have a lot of opportunities coming towards you. Maybe it will be many opportunities in love. Maybe it will be in a career sense. Maybe you are going to create your own opportunities by building a business. However your situation pans out, you are going to be presented with a lot of opportunities. Do not allow these opportunities to overwhelm you. Take your time in deciding which opportunity would work best for you, even when it comes to love. You need to allow yourself to really step back, go within, really connect to the divine, and really use your intuition during this decision-making time. We have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Knight of Cups represents love proposals, romantic, idealistic young man. So this knight is coming in to offer you romance, maybe a love proposal, maybe a marriage proposal. Yes, he is not quite into the uh, king phase, but this is going to be a very sensitive, a very loving man. And it might be even a, a man that's younger than you. That is really going to to present a, a solid foundation, a solid proposal to you with very, lo you know, loving, kind, gentleness. Maybe that's what you have been seeking. We all know that the water signs are very emotional. They're very loving. Most water signs deal with their heart over logic most of the time. But to me, I feel that you can trust this knight, even though this knight isn't quite a king. He, it just means that he's not as experienced as maybe you are, but he will gain that experience along with you and, and through this journey if you do accept his proposal. Believe. I believe that I can, I believe that each check I write brings money back to me tenfold. So if you are struggling financially and you are really 
counting your your pennies to to make it at this time just know that every dollar that you spend at this time is going to come back to you tenfold so don't sit and stress don't sit and count your pennies and and then sweat and bullets because you only have a dollar left know that that and believe that the universe is going to be bringing that back to you tenfold the last card i pulled is rest and rejuvenation and i brought that up earlier that you know another card represented that and I think at this time, it's time for you to really concentrate on resting and having that rejuvenation of your energy. I think that you have been fighting a battle that has exhausted you, that you have been fighting for a very long time, that you have fought by yourself for many, many years. And what the universe really wants you to do is really step into this rest and rejuvenation so then you can rest your mind, your heart, your body, and your soul. So... That is what is happening in your situation. I think it was a beautiful reading. Again, I apologize. I'm stumbling on my words. For one thing, I'm exhausted, of course, which, you you know, if you watch my channel, my journey has been a very difficult one. Um, I just traveled 35 hours, and I have had to deal with quite a bit since I've been where I'm at, and I am still have a long ways to go. I just traveled another uh, two hours um, after meeting with, a person in my family that I sat and talked to all day and really opened up to and and wanted to really reconnect with because I love him very much and it's just been a very emotional day for me but I am back I haven't posted in a while it's not because I've been just you know ignoring my channel um, I have a lot to say uh, I just been on a journey that has just really exhausted me so with that being said thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, thank you for subscribing. I hope everyone is doing well. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I want to thank Jane Dry, of course, because she always helps me out financially. She is always donating to my channel to help me when I'm in need. I also want to thank Kimberly because she also donated to my channel and I really, really needed that money at that time. So I'm so very, very grateful for each and every one of you. And for all my other subscribers, I love you all, and I'm very grateful for each and every one of you, too. Everybody have a beautiful, loving day, and I'll check you on my next video. Peace.